the Graph app of a Casio FX CG50AU copes well with functions that are defined in terms of other functions, including structures like the one we are faced with here. First enter the function f of x in y1. Now enter f of f of x as y2. With the cursor in the y2 position, press the right arrow. This will bring up a range of graph options. To call up y1, press f1 for y and then press 1. Now open a bracket, then f1 and 1 again. Now close the bracket and press execute. Now, in a similar fashion, enter f of f of f of x as y3. The cursor should be in y3 and we press the right arrow to bring up the y options. Press f1 and 1. Open a bracket, then F1 and 1 again. Open a second set of brackets. F1 and 1. Now close both sets of brackets and press Execute. And finally, enter F of F of F of F of X as Y4. To get a good graph of these functions, I'm going to use the Trig View window. So, let's see what the functions look like. OK then, now let's change the A value to 1.2. That's a bit more interesting. Now let's change the A value to 1.6. There is a squaring off effect that seems quite pronounced for this value of A. I wonder what A equals 2 will look like. Not quite what I expected. The squaring off now has something else going on as well. Let's explore further. And this additional complexity continues to grow. Curious behaviour indeed.